Okay, you guys, I'm excited once again. Um, if you didn't notice in my last video, I felt like my energy was a little different after the look was done because I had questions. I was so excited for the color story that I think it was kind of clouding my judgment a little bit. But I was saying, I had questions and I felt like because I was kind of in a box of like what I could do because I knew I was like going out in public with my daughter during the day to a park. I didn't want to do anything crazy. So my look was very soft, I feel. Still had issues with some of these things. So what I'm going to do now is try three looks in this palette just to see how the, a lot of these colors blend, what I can do with this, what really brings inspiration to me. We'll see how this goes. I think by the end of this um, video, I will have a much more kind of real idea of how I feel about the palette. Whereas in my previous video, I was just kind of like excited and this is what it looks like and that kind of thing. Ahead, I'll be doing more videos like this, a lot more. Like it'll be a series of all my palettes. Um, I love watching videos. Butte Bean is one of them that does three looks, one palette consistently. It just gives me a lot of information inspiration for videos that like or for palettes that I own that maybe I've like done all the looks I can think of with so let's get started okay so when I'm, I really want to try Vile Serpent that's what I'm going to do first and I'm taking a Sephora big fluffy crease brush just kind of popping that on over here but I did my base already for a different video so you guys will see that later I'm really just placing this product, I'm not trying to get it anywhere yet. Patting it in. Going back in. You know what? I'm just going to leave this on the outer crease and kind of get something else in there towards the upper part. So yes, I do like the shade. I have colors like this and the formula is fine. It's not, you know, it's not doing anything it's not supposed to and it's very pigmented. So this is cool, this is, this is a good one. Blood Plain, right here. I am just gonna kinda see what this looks like. This one is very pigmented. She's like, hi. Hey, I'm here. I'm outside. That's cool. I like the color that they're blending into. I'm gonna pack on Vile Serpent over it a little bit. It's like a blue. That's dope. You see that? So I'm just gonna get really weird with this. That's what I feel like doing. Next, I'm gonna do the red. I'm gonna do bleeding heart. I'm bleeding heart right in the in a pot. Has a bit of a glow to it. I'm just gonna pack that on. Whoa, that's cool. Cute. <laughs> Back in with Blood Queen just to kind of merge these. And now it's coming off a little pink, which is good because I want to see what pink magic looks like on this thing. Okay, pink magic was my biggest disappointment on my last video, and it's because now I realize what that I put it on with a brush, you gotta put it on with uh, your finger. I'm just putting that on all over Blood Queen. Blood Queen. Is that what it's called? No, that one's Bleeding Heart. The red one is called Bleeding Heart. What do y'all think of that? I feel like I need to do something a little bit more. Putting Vile Serpent kind of up in here. Please don't mess up everything I've worked so hard for. I 
don't think. That yeah, looks pretty cool. Okay, this is Vivid Mood. I didn't use this and it's pretty. Pop that in my inner corner. Let's see that. So let's pop it. Visual. Pretty. This is getting weird, guys. This is a weird look and I really dig it. Hmm, what should I do? I'm gonna take a clean, just any clean brush will do fine. And just kind of soften these edges, kind of get this blend a little bit. This is a really, it reminds me of the, of space. Like we're in a nebula and this is like a solar system and this is like black sky. Or is it sky in space? Is that just empty space? I don't know. Going in with Executioner and I'm just gonna so softly put that in my very uh, outer V and see if that adds to the spaciness. Space vibes. So back with my big fluffy brush. I'm gonna take what's left on that. I didn't go back into product and just kind of like blend up here a bit. Although I think the magic of this look is not over blending. I'm gonna take Vivid Mood. And just get a little big on that. Blood Queen. Blood Queen, come through. I almost said Battle Serpent, but I'm taking Blood Queen just in the center right here. And now I'll take Battle Serpent that teal. This is the outer version. This is, that's what gives me that like deep blue when they blend those together. I really like this. And this is the kind of look I've been like craving to do with this palette. Just like a real mis mismatch of color because this whole palette's kind of like a mishmash of color. It just kind of makes me want to get weird. I'm gonna try to soften these edges with this Deviant, that color I used in my last video that first like really just, I don't know what you call it, like, I don't ever use this. This is probably an epoxy charm. It kind of a little funky, if you can tell. the lower lash a little bit bigger though. If just giving it more space, make my eyes look a little bigger. It's this steel of burgundy, which looks like this. Which I really love this liner. I think I'll just pop that in there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's see with mascara and a lash. BRB thing. All right, so I did add lower lashes as well, which I didn't put on camera because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep them in, like on, but I do like the way they turned out. I had to use two different sets of lashes. So they're not completely even, but they look good enough. And I, I would wear this out still, like even though they're different. I really love this look. But when you do such a like, weird look i feel like you have to like add weird blush so i'm gonna start with my steela lilium cream blush which i adore this blush for every day it's very pretty but it's also you can get it really pigmented and i think this color is going to really complement this look i'm taking it all up my temple i just want like a super packing this in i'm taking it all the way up to my eye I really want like a sun kiss kind of vibe. What do y'all think of that? I feel like we still need like a hair more. Take Cosmetic Contour Book Volume One, which is beat 
to shreds, y'all. Like, I use this palette so much and I love it. Just go into this color here and just really kind of stamp it on. I might even do this brighter one. Just really stamp that into where I put it, just to give it a little bit more. This is MAC Spoil Yourself. I don't know if this is limited edition because this is like their minty, um, like, shade shifting duochrome gloss. Highlighter, I'm gonna go into my Moonchild palette, OG here. We're gonna take, let's do Purple Horse. With my Urban Decay Shape Shifter brush, I'll take the cart. Oh no, I meant to do purple first. I feel like with the peach underneath, this is gonna be really cool. This is look at number one. Obviously, I know this is not a look many people will probably want to wear, but I personally just love it. Moving on to the next. I feel like I got most of that look off. There is still a little bit of liner, that's fine, because I'll probably use that same liner or something similar with this look, but I'm going to go out to dinner, so I want to look like Pretty and cute, not too scary. Um, I'm gonna take Royal Pain. I think you can see soft pink, which I haven't used yet. Blend that into my outer crease. This is an M44 One Brush by Morphe, and I'm doing circular motions back and forth just to get me like a really soft looking. Blend. This is a really pretty, like, soft pink. This is gonna be probably one of my favorite shades to go to in spring. Okay, I'm gonna take kind of like a dense packing brush into Dungeon here. Just like a dark purple, dark grape, my outer bee. this purple. And just a little bit more. Okay, next I'm going to take this MAC Vintage Selection Pro Longwear Paint Pot. It's just like a really pretty cream eyeshadow. I think will make a really cute base for this next part. This is a MAC 248. Like, see, there is eyeshadow in there. That's why I caked on this um, eyeshadow primer. So I just get this primer, or the paint pot, not the primer. All right, that was just a really amp up this next shade I'm gonna use, which I haven't touched yet, so I'm excited. I'm gonna use my finger this time. Beauty Sleep. Can you see it? I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is like a beautiful icy pink. It's really cute. Okay, I do wanna use my brush though, just to get really precise. insanely gorgeous. I'm just gonna take the same brush I used to pack on Dungeon and kind of soften these like edges on either side. Monarchy and just kind of soften that up on the ends, the edges. Same on the bottom, I'm going to take first Royal Pain. I hope you can see this. I 
and then back in with Dungeon, that dark purple. I think this is a little too smoky. Oh, that looks fine. Okay, I'm going to go off camera to put on my lashes and mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the gist of this look, which I think is so cute for like dinner with friends, you know, just hanging out. It add this liner. This one's called Love Drug by Urban Decay, and it is so cute. It makes this look really stand out, I think. Um, I wanted to come back on camera to show you guys the highlighter I'm gonna pop on. This is Black Moon Cosmetics Moonrise, and it is so pretty like it almost works as like a blush because it has this really intense like pink shift but it's like little flecks of pink and gold I don't know if you can see it at all but it's a really cool product take that on my temple I'm pulling this in a lot more than I would a regular highlighter because it's just such like a nice pink shade. Adds a little bit of flush as well as like that shift. And over that, I do want to add my peachy shade of blush in Lunatic, the contour book, this guy right For my lip, I want to go really nudie, so I have Urban Decay Night Talk. This, this one all week, I really love it. For like a nude, this is Wicked Sisters Cosmetics Banshee. After that, that really completes the look. I don't want to go too crazy since I'm just going out to dinner and I feel like you guys might be interested in seeing like a more neutral side of things. So look number two. Okay, so I'm sure I look very different. I feel like I look much more blue, which hopefully I can fix. Um, but yeah, I finally got my camera back after my wedding. Now that I'm starting to do these YouTube things, I think it'd be much better if I had like a better quality camera. So, so this is my third look, third look, one palette. I have been really happy with all the looks I've gotten to do. I'm running out of clean brushes, so you might see some. If I know I'm using the same shade with a brush that I had already used with that shade, I might be reusing it. I really want to try Betrayal. It's this really... Well, clearly beautiful. I haven't used it yet. So I'm thinking I might do something with that. I'm gonna go in with a vivid moon mood. This really cool purple. Can I even see what this looks like? I feel like it's really hard to see this color. This is just with a M43 433 by Morphe. This is a really cool purple. Like it looks very light in the pan, but it's actually quite, it's got some, it's a good medium purple, I feel like. Betrayal, let me just pop Betrayal on my lid with my finger and see like what really I wanna do with it. It's really cute together. It's, it looks kind of very purple in here, but in comparison to the um, Vivid Mood, it looks much more pink. I'm gonna go into Blood Queen. I've been using this one a lot in these looks. It's just because it's one of the only like deeper mattes that can like deepen the look. It still needs to be deeper. I'm gonna take a little bit of Executioner. This sparkly black that we've been eyeing. I'm gonna take this little buffing brush because I used this to put this on earlier. Like I said, I'd reuse brushes if I have to. I'm just kind of placing this in my outer V. 
That's so insane. So I'm taking Vivid Mood again. And just kind of trying to soften this. Oh, I just mess everything up. I don't know, y'all. I am kind of having some inspiration from this. Hang on now. Hang on. Let's put Blood Queen over this crease and I'm gonna blend it back in. Just again to kind of soften the harshness of that black since it was way more pigmented than I was led to believe. I mean, it looks pigmented either way, but still, I just, I just, I got it wrong. Betrayal back on through here. I think I'm just burned out on looks today. Is that what it is? I don't know if I like this. Very unbonded. That's for starters. I'm gonna take your majesty, this white, the first white in this palette and just really soften this. All right, that's, it's doing a little better. Here we go. I feel like what's gonna really make this look be amazing, like any look, is these, hopefully I'm in frame or whatever, are these pigments. Can you see them? They're so stunning. This is Lorena Makeup. This is Halo. I got this on like Etsy, but Lorena Makeup, you can follow them on Instagram and they have insane makeup looks with these products just so beautiful like so elevated i have done a lot of looks with this palette so far i'm just ready to like get into some different types of textures I'm gonna go ahead with this nyx glitter glue after all we've been through already. But I do like the way that looks. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera since this took so long and I'll come back to smoke my lower lash, lower lash out. I accidentally did my lower lash off camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you can tell, I added, let me just pull out my palette so I get the names right. I did add lashes, I also added the liner I used earlier, okay, this guy. I don't know how to focus yet on this, but I use a love drug in my inner uh, waterline. So I mixed Blood Queen and Vile Serpent on my lower lash, and then just to soften that up, I did take Deviant. I do love this look. This is cool. This is really cool. This color story is dope. It's super different, but getting all these like intergalactic vibes from it. So I'm gonna take, warm up my skin a little bit with this guy. I just did my contour and highlight and blush a little bit quickly um, just because it was the same as the last three looks so far but I do want to add a little bit of this guy I don't think it's ever gonna focus I don't get it to focus oh my god is it focusing this is a palette I need to use more so I'm gonna incorporate it into this look because I've had it too long and I haven't hit pan on it. And I have used it quite a bit. But I'm determined. Just 
get a little bit of that weird oh wow yeah I definitely need to wear this more this is a very beautiful highlighter by NYX this is the love you so mochi um, arcade glam is what it's called which I feel like this is an arcade glam kind of moment alright let's put on our lips I'm thinking like a burny purple kind of. But I think I want it a little deeper than this is the thing. I really don't have like a deep plum. Yeah, I need a I need a plummier shade than that. Oh, I love the way baby bat uh lipsticks. This is the color I wanted. And this is why I don't need to buy any more lipstick and make any color I want. That's like my favorite thing about liquid lipsticks is that you can just have any color you want. They're so easy to mix together. This is Baby Bat Bewitch that I just mixed with that like kind of burny purple that I had by MAC. Anyway, this is what I look like. Okay guys, that is all for me, for me today. This is a whole day ordeal. I did my makeup three times, but I wanted to knock all this out in one day. So my other day off this week, I can just chill with no makeup and not care. <laughs> and hopefully this will be up by then. That's Thursday. So hopefully this will come up Thursday. I am just so thankful that you guys are watching. If you're watching, um, these are so much fun. And I'll see you next time. Bye.